Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, the coronavirus outbreak is now a global emergency. Uh, we now have the first British citizen to be cured by the coronavirus. It's been confirmed by the Ministry of Health, the Japanese Ministry of Health. I'm going to show you some footage of what you can do and updated information to protect yourself from the coronavirus and how you can understand it more. We must take this seriously. For those in Japan, it's, um, it's too late for them now to contain it. But for those in the UK and other parts of the world, it's not too late. So you must stay up to date. Um, please subscribe, we will be updating everybody. But here's some footage that will help you to educate you all on the situation at hand. So with a number of cases growing around the world, extra measures are being taken to prevent further spreading. But what is the risk and how should we be prepared? I'm joined now by a small but expert panel. Simon Clark is a microbiologist at the University of Reading and uh, I also have a GP, Daisy Bennett, with me. Welcome both. Uh, Hello. Simon, first of all, uh, so this thing is spreading around the globe. Where are we with this at the moment? Big picture. Well, inevitably it has spread outside China. That was always going to happen. It's a bit like throwing a, a a stone into a pond, you get ripples emanating from it. What the Chinese were trying to do was to damp down those ripples and slow down the spread, but it was going to happen anyway. So we're in, a, I think, a middle stage where we see other countries with better surveillance than, than certain other places around the world finding it. And that was always inevitable. That's always going to happen, I think. Yeah. So is it about the various countries' health infrastructure now and preparedness, do you think? Yes, it depends how uh, different governments are set up in order to deal with viral outbreaks. And I think in this, this country, we're, we're pretty well set. And um, do we know enough about the virus at the moment to be able for it to inform decisions that we're making? Uh, we don't know very much. We've only known about this for, what, seven or eight weeks now. So it seems an age. It seems an age, yes, but they're, they're, the, the data is new, and there's new data coming all the time, and more studies that are being done. We need more and more data. The more data, the better. But we can't inform decisions properly on little packets and little ill-informed pieces of data. And Daisy, I mean, this is a lot about public information, of course. Do you, you're a GP. Do you think the government's getting the public information right? Yes, so I think it's really important to get that balance right. Uh, whilst it's very important to be aware and alert, I think it's also important not to be alarmed. So we shouldn't be scaremongering, but at the same time, be equipped with all the information. So um, yes, in terms of what Simon has just said, it's a relative, relatively new virus. And we know the symptoms follow uh, the a respiratory type of illness. So it starts with a fever, cough, and shortness of breath. And we know the at-risk countries that we should try and avoid. Um, if you do get those symptoms, we know you have to self-isolate and call NHS 111. Um, at the moment, because it's a novel virus, we don't have a cure for it. So mm -hmm. the treatment is basically um, yeah. uh, stay isolation. at home, rest, yeah. isolate. So there you go, guys. There's no cure for the coronavirus at the moment. Um, as it says there, can you have the flu and coronavirus at the same time? There is so much information we do not know. But hygiene, rest, plenty of fluids like water, eating healthy, exercising, all of these things will help us in Great Britain and other parts of the world. So we must now take this seriously. But we, I must say, we must not scare manga. We must take this all um, one step at a time. Um, but once again, to confirm, a British man has died on a cruise ship. It's been confirmed by the, um, the Japanese Ministry of Health. Thank you. Please subscribe for more updates and more information and gossip from around the world.